Chef Chrissy Zabrowski from HAP along with Gus are here to show us how to make power granola bars this morning. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Hello. All right, so Gus, I want to start with you. You're 15, mm -hmm. and what is your favorite healthy food that you like to eat before we get into making these tasty granolas this morning? Well, I really enjoy sushi. Really? Yeah. Good for you. All right, so you're a little healthy this morning. Christy, walk me through some of the steps that we're going to do today. So making your own granola at home is really, really easy. All you have to do is take some oats. We have oats here. And then, Gus, you can pour in some of these other ingredients. So we have some mini chocolate chips, okay. some hemp parts, almonds, some dried cherries, and then some chia seeds. And then all you do is pour in some honey and mix it all together. What are hemp hearts? Hemp hearts are um, an awesome source of protein and fiber coming from a plant. So it's great to add into the granola because granola, as you see, you know, is primarily oats. So you get a lot of carbohydrates. So if you want to balance it out a little bit and yeah. add some healthier fats and protein, that's a great way well, to do it's it. It's kind of a way that when you, because the best way is to make some stuff at home because I know granola bars are so easily available at you know CVS or mm -hmm. grocery stores wherever you can grab them but why is it so important to make them at home is because you can kind of sneak in these ingredients exactly you can put in the granola bars what you want and tailor it towards your physical activities so granola bars are a great thing to have before playing sports and you play sports right Gus? yeah I play soccer Okay. Good for you. Just now, this is something you'd eat probably before or after? This would be a great thing to have before. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you lots of energy. It also is a great thing that falls within our uh, 5210 guideline mm -hmm. that is a part of the American Academy of Pediatrics that we like to follow for exercise and eating. Um, and it stands for five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. And as you can see, we have some cherries in here, so it's a little bit of fruit. Um, two hours of screen time or less. One hour of physical activity so this is a great way to fuel yourself for that activity and then um, zero added sugar beverages and what what about nuts though sometimes nuts can get a bad rap high in calories or if you have a nut allergy why are nuts so great I guess uh, but if you get the right nuts it's a great source of healthy fats and in something like this it helps to balance out all of the carbohydrates now do you bake this yes yeah, so, so then from here all we do is put it into this pan press it down really firmly and then bake it in the oven. If you like crunchy granola bars, yeah. you can bake it a little bit longer. But if you like soft, chewy bars, um, bake it a little less. And as you can see over here, it turns out into some nice, beautiful homemade granola bars. And it's kind of nice because you can add different type of ingredients and swap it out if you want a different mm -hmm. flavor. Exactly. And sometimes it's good to go to the store and you can get some ideas from one of the other, you mm -hmm. know, what they're doing, and then you can come home and make your own healthy ones. Yeah. And just like that, you just press it down and then bake it. Well, Christy and Gus, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the tips. You keep eating that sushi. And good luck at Saturday this year. Thank we'll you. put this recipe on our website, which is box2detroit.com. For now, back over to you guys.